using class dot for name method using this class dot for name we can load driver so in that case how to load public class load driver that's a class name simple class name and here a method public static void main string args and here write class dot for name to load driver into jvm write class dot for name and pass your driver class name here you need to pass your driver class here driver class name in case of this class dot for name approach this class dot for name method will throws one compile time exception that exception what it will throws class not found exception class not found exception it will throws it's a compile time exception right so while using this class dot for name must you need to surround this code by using try catch and what we need to catch here which exception we need to catch class not found exception <coughs> the exception is class not found exception okay it's a simple shorthand name c n e f e class not found exception okay so using this class dot for name we can load driver so which driver we are loading here how we can find driver manager class we have we have a driver manager class driver manager class driver manager class dot there is one method get drivers there is one method get a drivers method not get connection get connection is for to get connection if you want to know which driver you are loading through this class dot for name by using this driver manager dot get drivers method if you call it will return as enumeration object by iterating this enumeration object you can find which driver you are loading from class dot for name so by iterating this enumeration how to iterate while e dot has has next or has more elements which method we need to call has has next only right has next or has more elements has more elements then here e dot next element right next element it will return not it will return as which object driver object it will return which driver you are loading from here that driver reference finally it will return here so by using this reference finally we can find which driver we are loading into this class okay programmatically i'll show you how to know this driver class name by using this enumeration okay so using this first approach you can load driver and we have one more approach the second one using using driver manager dot register driver so by passing driver instance here by passing driver instance here you can load driver this one is second approach in this second approach how we can load here in case of the second approach if you want to load driver here you need to create first a driver class object driver d equal to driver is a interface you know right driver is a interface so first we need to create the, this driver interface instance how we can create driver interface instance it is not possible right so for this interface we required implementation so who give an implementation for this driver interface we have a driver interface for this driver interface first sun given one implementation sun given one implementation that sun given implementation class name is jdbc odbc driver this class sun given so if you want to create a driver class instance which instance we need to create driver d equal to new 
JDBC, ODBC, driver. Or else we have many other implementations. Arkil also given one implementation. Arkil driver. Arkil vendor given implementation. For whom? For this driver interface. For this driver interface, we have implementations. JDBC, ODBC driver from Sun, Arkil driver from Arkil, and MySQL given one driver class given by MySQL vendor. MySQL given one driver class. Okay, like this, we have many vendor implementations for driver interface. So now what we should do here, first we need to create instance of driver. Driver D equal to new Sun driver if you want to create JDBC, ODBC, driver. And these two classes are not from Lang package. So then what we should do? We need to import these classes, right? So here, this class is from Java dot SQL package. You need to import import Java dot SQL star and this class this class from Sun package in our RT dot jar file you can find Java one folder and you can find one more naming convention folder name Sun okay if you open RT dot jar file in RT dot jar file you can find one Java Sun you can find many other folders in Java what you can find again Java can have sub packages Java IO package util package lang package okay lang package classes by default it will make available here then the remaining packages java.sql package sql package is there in this java in this java we have util packages io packages sql package also is there in this java itself then this driver implementation class is there in sun package we have one package name sun it is there in rt.jar file itself in our runtime environment jar file we have this sun package in this sun package we have some sub packages so in which package we have that class import sun dot jdbc dot there is one package odbc in that sun dot jdbc dot odbc package we have this jdbc odbc driver class so this driver class is there in java dot sql package and this jdbc odbc driver class is there in sun dot jdbc dot odbc in this package we have this jdbc odbc driver class so once after creation of this driver instance you need to call driver manager dot register driver then you need to pass your driver instance here you need to pass your driver instance so now what it will do it will load this driver into it will register the driver into driver manager now the same thing you can call driver manager dot get drivers just by using this get drivers method what we can get enumeration of driver objects we can get using this enumeration we can find which driver currently loaded into JVM okay this one is the second approach in case of second approach just by using this register driver we can register this driver instance here okay which instance we can pass here driver instance and this driver implementation classes are about sun given one implementation class and third part is given their own implementations okay so here instead of sun driver if you want to load arkill driver you can create arkill driver instance here you can create Arkill driver instance. If you create Arkill driver instance, then you need to import Arkill package. You need to import here. Import Arkill dot JDBC dot. There is one ODBC package. You can import from that package. You can import from this package, this class. Which class? Arkill driver class. But this rkill.jdbc.odbc package is there in rt.jar file? No. So for that jar file, you require to add rkill implementation jar files. rkill given as in rkill 10g, they given was one jar file ojdbc14. 
Boge DBC, one four jar they given for Arkil Express Edition. Okay, so in that jar file, actually in this jar file they given this package. Arkil dot JDBC dot ODBC package is there in this package. So then this package, I mean this jar file should be there in your class path, right? So that jar file you should keep it into class path to import this class. You know, right? Yeah. Then third approach. We have one more approach. So in this third approach, what we should do actually through command prompt, we need to pass one argument at runtime. We need to pass our driver argument. How we need to pass here? Just call driver manager dot get drivers. Just to call get drivers method. You just call get drivers method. This get drivers method will return as enumeration of drivers. Then where we are registering driver in our code, we are not registering driver, right? But while executing your code, once after compilation of your Java code, Java C space load driver dot Java. Once after successful compilation, while running your class Java space hyphen D JDBC dot drivers equal to your required driver implementation class name you have to pass here in double quotes. Which driver you require to use? You can go through Sun driver or Arkil driver or MySQL driver. You can go through any driver. That driver class name you have to pass here. Then you have to pass while executing your class. While executing your class by using this Java interpreter, you need to pass a command hyphen D JDBC dot drivers. And here you need to pass your driver class name. Let's say if it is Sun driver, you need to pass fully qualified path. Sun dot the package name is what? For Sun driver, Sun dot JDBC dot ODBC dot JDBC ODBC driver class. Then you have to pass your class name load driver. Finally, it is what our class name. And this one is command, Java command. In between what we have to pass, in between our Java command and class name, you have to pass hyphen D JDBC dot drivers equal to your required driver class name you have to pass here. If you want to connect with Sun driver, Sun driver you have to pass here. If you want to connect with Arkil driver, Arkil driver you have to pass here. If you want to connect with MySQL, then MySQL driver you have to pass here. But with fully qualified name you should pass here so this one is the third approach okay by using any one of this approach you can load driver into jvm okay 